A linear array transducer with a nerve exam type is used to perform an ultrasound-guided axillary regional nerve block. The target depth is approximately 1 to 2 centimeters in an 80 kilogram adult. The patient is positioned supine with the arm abducted 90 degrees and the elbow bent 90 degrees. The transducer is placed as high as possible in the axilla with the orientation marker directed to the patient's head. Slowly slide the transducer in a lateral to medial direction to identify the axillary artery. The axillary artery is a dark, round, pulsatile structure with a hyperechoic wall. The axillary veins lie around the periphery of the artery and are easily compressed. Slide the transducer up the arm to a proximal position so the teres major muscle, which helps control the distribution of local anesthetic during injection, is posteromedial to the artery and nerves. The biceps and coracobrachialis muscles will appear lateral to the artery. The median, ulnar, and radial nerves appear as hyperechoic circles with a honeycomb appearance surrounding the artery. The nerve positions will vary around the artery. The transducer is slowly moved laterally over the biceps and coracobrachialis muscles. The musculocutaneous nerve can be seen between these muscles as a small, bright, hyperechoic circle or triangle. The needle is positioned 1 to 2 centimeters lateral to the transducer and advanced using an in-plane technique. The needle path is directed through the biceps muscle toward the musculocutaneous nerve. The initial end point for the needle is immediately beside the musculocutaneous nerve where 3 to 5 cc's of anesthetic should be injected. The needle is then advanced to a position immediately posterior to the artery. As local anesthetic is injected, the teres muscle is pushed down and the local anesthetic should spread medial and lateral underneath the artery. The needle can be advanced through hydrodissection to facilitate appropriate spread of local anesthetic. Finally, the needle is withdrawn and redirected anterior to the artery. Local anesthetic should be injected over the artery to finish with a circumferential spread of local anesthetic around the artery.